Last time on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, never-ending nightmares. Saxophone sex scene. It took me about 500 takes to actually say it correctly this time. By the way, it's some pretty good alliteration. Yeah. Brother. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. Never Ending Nightmares, episode 21, 21, Blackjack. Oh, we are just rolling around, rolling along this 31 nights of monstrous mayhem and massacringly, massively, nightmarishly, never ending, whatever. Anyway, so after last night's kind of departure from the, uh, the horror genre a bit with the Devil's Honey, uh, very sexy film. <laughs> we, we're gonna return to some more horrificness, but instead of just doing a review, because I've done a lot of reviews so far, and honestly, maybe, maybe even getting a little, little reviewed out, maybe, I don't know. But I thought, hey, you know, why don't I do a top 10 list, a top 10 list. Now, normally I'm not too big on top 10 lists or making them anyways myself, because it's really hard for me to, you know, just equate numbers with the films and stuff like that. You know, I just have a hard time saying, well, is this better than this one? Or I like this one better than that. But I thought I would do so this time. Plus, you know, what's great about top 10 lists though, is it does promote discussion and then, uh, a lot of people go, hey, why wasn't this on the list, or why wasn't this higher, or this one lower, or things like that. And it may expose people, I <laughs> expose, to movies that they may not have seen. So someone might say, hey, this one should have been on the list, and they're like, I never saw that. And so I'll watch it and I go, hey, that was great, or what the hell were you thinking, man? That's, there's a reason why that's not on the list. It sucks. So, anyways, I thought that I would do a top 10 list, so here, I'm going to do a top 10 list of my favorite haunted house movies. Now, they don't actually have to be haunted houses in the movies. Any kind of ha haunted uh, edifice, or building, or heck, uh, ship, I mean ghost ship, man. Freaking cruise liner was haunted. So. I thought, yeah, you know, I really do dig haunted house movies. Uh, I really do. I really do. And so I thought, hey, let me make a list of ten, and I will now unleash it onto you all. My top ten favorite haunted house movies begins. Number ten. I think of underrated film. What lies beneath? What lies beneath? That is a movie with uh, Harrison Ford, Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer's character uh, starts to believe that the house is haunted and then she kind of becomes possessed by some uh, spirit. And it's a really, really great uh, suspenseful thriller uh, about uh, deception and, uh, you know, when you think you know someone but you really don't, you know, that kind of thing. So really great, really great haunted house movie what lies beneath number nine number no I'm sorry number nine coming in is event horizon yes I know it's not a haunted house but a haunted spaceship what a great idea it's and it felt like it played a lot like Hellraiser in space before you know Hellraiser actually went to space it sucked but I mean you've got Lawrence Fishburne Sam Neill what a great cast what a great movie, lots of violence and gore, and just a really great creepy atmosphere, which is an essential for haunted house movies, really it is. So number nine, Event Horizon. Number eight, House, the 1986, I believe 86, movie about a Vietnam vet who loses his son at his aunt's place, and after his aunt dies, he goes back to that house that started his nightmares, and well, more nightmares happen. Oh man, well, it's, it's almost like a haunted house and a monster movie, because like you got these great uh, special, practical special effects monsters out there, and it's, it's really creepy and, 
you know, somewhat gruesome at times. So, really, it's a uh, one of those where I don't know if a lot of people know about it. I mean, I know there's a bit of a cult following for this movie, but it's, I mean, it's real fun. The uh, sequels that happen after that, not so much. I mean, number two was more comedy than anything, but, uh, yeah, House, man, definitely great. Number eight. Number seven, the original House on Haunted Hill. What was that, 1956, I think? And Vincent Price. I mean, come on, Vincent Price. He is just magnificent. But we got a, a black and white 50s horror movie that has a lot of more interesting tones. And honestly, I think this movie is kind of Hitchcocky in, in, in a way. Especially, you know, when it deals with some of the, uh, the female characters. And, uh, honestly, it's just an altogether great movie. Creepy, uh, and even for an old, I guess one would say cheesy movie, I think it's got great atmosphere and just the performances. Especially Vincent Price, man. Knocks it out of the park. So that's number seven, House on Haunted Hill. Number six, the classic, the original... The Amityville Horror. I mean, just looking at that house still brings me a little bit of a oof vibe feeling. I mean, the, the thing that flies that gets out. You know, all of that. Uh, what is that? James Brolin, his beard and just creepiness. I mean, it's just... And the fact that you thought it was based on actual events really, really made it that much more creepy and uh, extra <laughs> hideous. So number six, the Amityville Horror. Number five, Jew Own the Grudge. Jew Own the Grudge. Honestly, some people might say, why isn't it up higher? Well, it's because it's more of a ghost movie than it is a haunted house movie, but I like the, the fresh direction it takes because, you know, most of the time when you're in a haunted house movie, the house is gigantic and it's like a labyrinth and it's twists and turns. This is just normal, average Japanese house. Nothing special about it, but once you enter it, you are fucked, you are dead, and there is no escape, man. And I, that's, that's part of the brilliance of it, but because it may be more ghost story than not, I can't really put it in the above five, even though it's an awesome movie. It's an awesome movie. One of the few times after I've grown up in life that I really was creeped out and scared by something. So there you go. Jew on the grudge number five. Number four, House, the Japanese movie, was it 77? I gotta look these up there. Or otherwise known as Hausu because, you know, we, we've got to be all like, pronounce it like it's, gotta, anyways, whatever. So House, man. This one is just a freaking mind trip of a movie. It is uh, definitely experimental, but uh, the, the whole idea of the house is alive and it is eating the people, consuming them and their souls, is just a wonderfully great and brilliant idea. And just uh, the visuals in this are just, just insane. And it's a thoroughly entertaining and enjoyable movie. And crazy, batshit, freaking insane crazy. So that's number four, House. Number three, Poltergeist, Poltergeist. Oh my goodness, the creepy girl, that television, the, the clown, the dead bodies coming out of the ground or, you know, like you know, corpses, anything. Just the movie, oh, the guy ripping his face off. I, it's a movie that I saw as a kid and it messed me up and it still gets those feelings. So yeah, maybe there's a little bit of that nostalgia feeling going on, giving it number three. But man, it really, it really messes you up. And you know, it probably made people freaked out about their televisions for a couple months, you know? What Jaws did to sharks, Poltergeist did to your, your television, man. <laughs> Seriously. So, number two, The Legend of Hell House. Now, anyone who knows me would know that this movie is gonna be on the list somewhere. But they probably thought it was going to be number one, but man, number two, because it's, it is it is a great movie. One of my favorites, of course, number two, but oh man, it's one of those I wish they would actually do a remake, because if they did it right, it would be freaking awesome. But basically, uh, an, a rich man hires a bunch of uh, paranormal investigators to find out if uh, survival of... Uh, 
your personality can survive after death and if there's really a haunting going on at the famous Hill House or Hell House or whatever. I think they call it Hell House because Hull House is the next one. Oh, there's a little spoiler going on. So, uh, where is it the other way around? Hull and Hill. Ah, oh, my goodness. See what happens when you're doing shit on the fly. Anyways, they find out that yes, there is survival afterwards and, uh, very entertaining. Roddy McDowell is in it. Uh, he's a, you know, pretty good guy, actor. So, anyways, it's the Mount Everest of haunted homes, man. Really, it is. So that brings us to number one. Number one. What is what is going to be my number one? What is it is going to be the haunting, and I don't mean the Liam Neeson one, which was a decent movie, but it wasn't, you know, not top ten material. No, the original. What was that, 1963, black and white? All it did was ooze creepy. I mean, creepiness from the beginning to the end. Us, all it was was just unnerving, creepy. The characters were very, very interesting. They, they, they got, the whole thing just got under your skin and really, really wowed me, especially some of the effect shots they did back then, I thought were pretty inventive. So. Honestly, very solid, very, very uh, mood-tacular movie, The Haunting, and that's number one, number one. So, there you have it, my top ten favorite haunted house movies. Let's recap, number ten, What Lies Beneath, number nine, Event Horizon, number eight, oh, I almost killed myself there, <laughs> number eight, House. Number seven, House on Haunted Hill. Number six, The Amityville Horror. Number five, Jew Owned the Grudge. Number four, House, the Japanese one. Number three, Poltergeist. Number two, The Legend of Hell House. And number one, of course, The Haunting. So there you go, there you have it. My top 10 favorite haunted house movies. Uh, tell me what your favorite haunted house movie is and why and maybe I'll be uh, I'll see something I might not have seen now someone might say the changeling I know about the changeling I just have not been able to see it yet I have not come across a copy for me to watch yet so I know that some people say oh the changeling is like badass so I don't know I'm, I'm gonna I eventually is gonna I'm gonna get there but but anyway so there you go. Until then, then, people, then, 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 I am. That's how it's been a long day. So, until then, you guys stay scary, Internet, and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>